hello welcome back we are down to the very last thing we have to do on this island for it to be done there's just a couple small spaces and some beach areas left so i am going to finish them up today so this is like my most elaborate beach and i kind of don't want all of them to be this full of stuff i just feel like it will make everything feel so crowded because the rest of the island is so crowded here's my museum beach which also has a lot of stuff Here's Isaac the isopod, our museum mascot. Here's the little like stargazing area I have. And there's a little picnic spot, of course. There's no shortage of picnic spots on this island. Actually, I feel like this is kind of empty. I feel like it needs some, some custom designs. Okay, so this beach here, I did put some stuff down, but I don't like the bistro table so I think I'm going to kind of keep most of it I'm just gonna take this up because I'm not liking the way that it looks I added a little purple parasol I think that's pretty cute I mean it's really plain but again there's like so much happening on the island that I kind of think plain beaches might be the way to go this stretch of beach I'm leaving like super empty because this little writing area over here is so close to it I just wanted an excuse to use the purple shell partition so I just have this over here but I mean I don't really know what it is but also I I feel like it's fine. I think I'm just gonna leave that like that. <laughs> I have a little pond here with some more blankets and then a little seating area. And then down here at the back, I have our little naked shower and laundry area. Then on the other side of the island, of course, we have the campsite up here. And I think I'm going to, I don't think I have pocket space to deal with these flowers right now, but I think I'm going to use any other flowers that I need anywhere else so that I can get rid of all of these today. I have a little sunrise yoga spot on this rock. Um, and it's so little, there isn't really a lot of room to do much else. I don't even think I can put another candle here. No, I can't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that like that. I put blankets down here, but didn't really have any plan for it. So I think I'll just add a couple little things that I pulled out here just to kind of finish that up pretty plain i might add some books or something there but i don't have any in my pocket right now so since i came back to june so that the hydrangea bushes would be in season i did do some wedding stuff and since there's a green like variation of the wedding items i made a little wedding spot on the beach which i thought was cute so all that's over here i don't know that it really like fits with the rest of the island? I'm not sure. I don't know, I, it looks nice though, so I'm gonna go with it. I need to like download um, like a heart sand design that I could put here like over near the wedding. I think that would be cute and leave like most of this beach open, but maybe add some more sand designs. Let's see if I can find one like that because right now I only have the sun and the stars <laughs> and I've used them on like every beach. Okay, let's see what we can find uh, as far as sand hearts go. Okay, I found two that I kind of like the look of. I think that looks good. And then I have one that's just like two little ones. Cute. Add some more in here. I think that the little um, like head tables for the wedding with the little scrapbook, like guest book on that table looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna clean up these flowers and then add a couple sand designs up here. Again, I'm leaving this really plain, but I just feel like there's so much stuff crammed into the island that plain beaches are the way to go. Does that sound like an excuse? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Just kidding, I have a couple more small spaces to add. Nooks was selling a green star net, so I thought it would be cute to grab some bugs that display in a green like bug cage and have a little buggy area. Um, there's still a little bit of blank space around Static's house, so I'm just gonna put it there. This milk can being here is a real um, example of it's green, so I'm using it. <laughs> I can't believe that the island is done. I mean, I guess it did take, let's see, when did I start this? In July, August, September, October, November. I mean, that's four months. But actually, I guess both times I've done islands before. Oh no, the first island I played for like eight months. The second island, it took me eight months, but I took a four month break. <laughs> 
So I guess four months is like pretty, pretty standard. It's gonna be a real challenge to do an island in 30 days. <laughs> but I am glad to be finishing with this one first so that I don't feel like I have unfinished business that I have to come back to. I kind of like to have this completed. So um, pretty much the next video will be the final tour and the dream address, which is exciting. And then I'll probably take a little break before Vlogmas starts since I'm going to be recording, editing, and uploading videos every day for 30 days. And that starts on November 26th if you're interested. So make a note in your calendar or you can subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so that you're notified every time I post. I don't have a set schedule right now, but like I said, I'll be posting every day from November 26th to December 25th. So, um... Look forward to that. If that is your thing, it will, we will be doing a Christmas island in 30 days. I am excited about that, but I'm a little nervous about the amount of work it's gonna take. <laughs> Especially because like this is the busy time of year for my real job. So um, it's I'm really like setting myself up to be completely exhausted in every way. But um, basically after that challenge, I'm gonna take a couple weeks off like of everything, of life basically, and come back in 2023. I can't believe we're almost at the end of 2022. Anyway, here is another little spot um, that I just added some little designs and some flowers. I kind of liked um, putting the Lily of the Valleys in there. I just thought it looked like a cute little ode to our five star island. <laughs> And that was pretty much it. So um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like. If you wanna see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you'd like to keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And until next time, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.